I'm uh, Michael Malone. I'm the new city manager. Council just approved a two-year contract, but in fact, I've already been in Vallejo for five years. Uh, I'd like to take a moment to introduce Gillian Hayes, assistant city manager. And then I'm gonna introduce Mr. Terrence Davis, and he's gonna tell you a little bit about himself and his role and responsibility. Thanks, Mike. Terrence Davis, uh, it's a pleasure to be here. And uh, new assistant city manager, happy to be a part of this team. Prior to this appointment, I was the city's public works director. I came to Vallejo in 2017. In my new responsibilities, I'll be responsible for the departments of human resources, IT, fire, and public works. And so happy to be able to support those teams moving forward. And now I'd like to appoint Assistant City Manager Gillian Hayes. She will tell you a little bit about herself and her role as possible. Hi, I'm Gillian Hayes. I've been here in Vallejo for two and a half years. I have about a 20 year career in planning. I first came here as the Planning and Development Services Director and I'm excited uh, for my new permanent role as Assistant City Manager. I'll be overseeing planning and building, economic development, housing division, homelessness and communications for the city. And uh, with the number one city council goal being economic development, we have a lot to work ahead of us. I'm excited. So I'd like to take an opportunity to kind of highlight some things that we've been able to accomplish uh, in the last six months under my role as, as interim city manager and with the help of Gillian and Terrence. Uh, probably first and foremost is completing a goal setting. Recently with the council, uh, we were able to bring a balanced budget at mid-year to council. We were able to open up a fire station in Glen Cove, which is a major accomplishment. Uh, we currently have recruitment out for two new positions, help with the homeless issue in the city, and also to help engage our youth and find provide more opportunity for the youth in the community. In the community. We also, with the help of our public information office, we were able to have a number of community meetings and get input from the community. From that, we have direction from the council to move forward with uh, a plan, hopefully, to get the police in a new updated model facility. So as we look forward for the next two years, there's a few things I want to highlight. But just first upcoming during the month of May, we're coming back to council with a budget workshop. Uh, we also have scheduled this month for the police department to bring to council an update on the OIR report. But as we look out in the next couple of years, you know, one of the things that's really important to us is to try to provide a stable organization. Uh, we have economic development as a goal for the council, along with a youth coordination and youth initiative. None of those things can happen unless we stabilize our organization. Uh, we need to have an organization that can attract and retain qualified individuals uh, who want to be here, who want to serve this, this community and, and improve this community. So that's a huge priority for us as a team. All those things that we want the city to become, I think hands up on us being successful in stabilizing organization and keeping the talent that we have here, attracting new talent. To add to that, can I just jump in? I would say there's a lot to be done in this community, for this community, but most importantly, with this community. 